Armies within the Star Wars galaxy vary vastly in both size and quality. From the Separatist droid armies near infinite numbers, to the Rebel Alliance's trooper ingenuity. But there is one trooper across all the major armies of galactic history that put the rest to shame in terms of raw firing power and durability. And it was the Dark Trooper. Not to be confused with the Imperial Sentry droids seen in Star Wars Rebels, despite their similar design. The Dark Trooper project was among the most expensive and controversial programs within the Empire, requiring nearly two decades for their final phase to be completed, and facing constant criticisms from multiple high-ranking Imperials across its production. Nonetheless, the Dark Trooper project was a success in producing a monster of a soldier with their Phase 3 creation. The first two phases were built as droids, while Phase 3 was able to be activated as a droid or used as an exosuit for a humanoid. Possessing the firepower of a starfighter and the armor of a tank, the Dark Trooper was a near indestructible foe that brought terror to the unlucky souls that had to face them. During one battle, a few Phase 2 Dark Troopers were sent toward a rebel base, causing the defenders to scatter and retreat from just the sight of the frightening Imperial warriors. One Dark Trooper was able to infiltrate a fleeing rebel capital ship during the battle, fighting its way across the entire ship toward the command bridge, taking down all resistance it encountered and causing the whole warship to crash toward the planet Tatooine. Despite still being inside the ship when it crashed, the Dark Trooper survived and continued its carnage on the inhabitants nearby, with three Jawa sandcrawlers fleeing in chaotic horror to the point where they drove into the abandoned pod racing arena. After taking numerous direct blaster shots into its armor with barely a scratch, and even surviving being crushed by massive boulders, the Dark Trooper was finally destroyed by a fuel explosion of the three damaged sand crawlers. The most powerful Phase 3 Dark Troopers were outfitted with an array of weaponry, including a large handheld assault cannon, two shoulder mounted Seeger missile launcher racks under the suit's shoulder plates, and a compartment of various types of grenades. Its armor was so durable that it could withstand contact with even a lightsaber for a short period, and the suit itself was at times classified as a one-man tank, requiring numerous direct hits from large cannons to even have any damage done to it. Equipped with a jetpack, the Dark Trooper was also extremely mobile, having the speed to hunt down any enemies that attempted to flee, even able to keep up on those riding speeder bikes. Although the few times the Dark Troopers were used in battle mounted as great victories for the Empire, their high price tags resulted in only a few dozen being produced and used in combat. On top of that, shortly after the Phase 3 variant was produced, the Rebel Alliance infiltrated the main Dark Trooper project base of operations and sabotaged their productions, destroying most of the suits while they were deactivated and killing the head of the project. As a result to the successful rebel infiltration and sabotage, which saw the loss of millions of credits invested into the suits destroyed, along with the inventor of their creations killed in action, Emperor Palpatine decided to end all continued plans for the expansion of the Dark Trooper suits and droids, preferring to invest into the Imperial Navy and second Death Star that was under construction instead. Despite the end of the project, a handful of surviving Dark Troopers remained within the Empire and were modified by the various organizations that acquired them. One unit was used by the Inquisitors, which named their versions the Inquisitorium Dark Troopers. A few others were purchased by wealthy, well-connected Imperial governors and moths, deployed as city police in areas with high rebel activity. Overall, the Dark Trooper project held a promising future with producing the most powerful trooper in galactic history and causing unimaginable widespread carnage against the Rebel Alliance, but came to an end due to its immensely high price tag and unreliability in being successfully produced following the destruction of its main production facility and the death of its founder. If you enjoyed this video, you may be interested in our most powerful trooper types and divisions videos for both the clones and stormtroopers. Be sure to subscribe if you wish to see more videos like this one, and as always, may the force be with you.